So we're in Portland, which to me seems a little bit like Toronto, especially the downtown area. It's really cool though. We should just wear these to the restaurant. Okay, stick these on. <laughs> this really pretentious like listen I don't I don't mind what's going on in Portland but that place was pretentious and uh, <laughs> my son we're walking around this back area which we found out later was like an art installation it was like whatever it was the worst art I've ever seen but there's like this foam crown laying on the ground and literally he almost stepped on it and then I looked at the price list later $1,800 for a crushed foam crown that was stapled to the floor and he almost stepped on it. Whoa. I don't know what the area was called that we were in, but it was downtown Portland. It's so much like, like just a little parts of Toronto that are like little kind of villages. And you see people just walking and it's after dark and they have small children with them. And you're like, okay, this is a safe place. Like, so, you know, despite everything, Portland is a really nice city. It's terrible traffic. Like the highways are really like scary. And maybe it's just because like, I'm like, I was a ball of nerves in the car. I was like, just like so tense. Um, but um, there's so much traffic on these highways. But once you get off the highways, people were very civil, like even driving, but it was just like a really safe neighborhood. But then me and my son were standing outside that record store for like, 15 minutes in the cold so I still haven't like gotten my body temperature back up because it's very like a damp cold here which I don't think I'm used to yet um but anyways we were standing out there because I was like geez like he almost trampled the two thousand dollar art installation thing um, so I'm like we cannot be in there after that my other son ended up buying a guitar um that's not the kind of purchase we just usually randomly make but he had money because of the sale of the house that we had given to him so it was like okay this is this is a good thing that's happening here um and then we just literally went and had like tamales at this little mexican place and came back so i feel like today was like a, a little bit of a decompression but at the same time i'm a little high strung <laughs> uh tomorrow we are going to seattle but we're not going to stay there at all like tomorrow we're going to be in canada again
Peter O'Toole, I'm just guessing. Uh, that's John Lennon. It's gotta be. That's Bob Dylan. I'm gonna say that's Chet Baker. Yeah, it could be Johnny Cash, but I think it's Chet Baker. There we go. Tina Turner. Tina Turner. Okay, so that's not Peter O'Toole. That's some sort of jazz musician that I can't figure out right now.